With the introduction of Microsoft Fabric and its new Direct Lake connection mode, Power BI is taking another significant step forward. This new development isn't just another feature, but an essential evolution in Power BI that will improve efficiency and user experience. My name is Nick Pavlov, and in this video, we will take a look at the new Direct Lake mode in Power BI. Now, before we talk about the Direct Lake mode, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking about the existing connections in Power BI. Traditionally, there have been two distinct connection modes in Power BI, the import mode and direct query. I mean, there's the live connection mode, but it's very similar to direct query in the way how it works, and it only connects to data models in analysis services. So for the sake of simplicity, we will distinguish between the import and direct modes. So let's talk about the import mode a little bit. Within the Power BI community, the import mode is uh, synonymous with speed. The import mode pulls data from a source into the Power BI internal memory. And this results in a very quick performance. And you can use a full spectrum of Power BI capabilities, including Power Query transformations and complex DAX. That being said, the import mode comes with a size limitation. For example, if you are not using the premium capacity, your model cannot be more than one gigabyte. So the argument here is that the import mode is not really built for large data sets. So that's why when you're working with large data, you would use direct query. Direct query provides a direct link to the data sources and retrieves metadata without importing the actual data into Power BI. Direct query is perfect when working with massive data sets. Another important thing is that because you have a live connection to your data, your visuals are always up to date and you don't need to refresh your data. These two things are the main advantages of direct query. So what are the caveats here, right? The direct query mode comes with the power query limitations. You cannot do any transformations in power query. Second and most important disadvantage is slow performance. Because you have a live connection, your visuals send queries to data sources and the data then has to come back. So normally, of course, you have many visuals in your report and every time you slice and dice a report, you're sending queries to a data source. As a result, you will not have the best performance. With these two connection modes, right, we always had to choose between the speed and live data. But now, the introduction of Direct Lake gives us a new avenue. The Direct Lake mode is a new data connection feature exclusive to Microsoft Fabric. With Direct Lake, you are going from Power BI right into the Delta Parquet files. This mode serves as a bridge to one lake, enabling users to access vast amounts of data without traditional limitations. And so this makes sure that you have real-time, large-scale analytics without typical performance bottlenecks. Think of it as combining the benefits of both the import mode and direct query in one thing, which is called direct lake. So now let's go to my workspace and see how all of this works. So naturally you would think that you would go to Power BI desktop, right? Let me actually open my Power BI desktop and see if I can access direct lake mode from Power BI desktop. Once I am in Power BI Desktop, I can access my data by going to Get Data and then I can click More, right? And then here I will go to Microsoft Fabric and then choose my uh, lake house right here. And now I am connecting to my uh, lake house, right, from Power BI Desktop. So I will choose Demo Adventure Works. So once I connect to my data house sitting in lake house, I would go to the relationship view, sorry, to the model view, and then I can see that I have the data that is sitting in my lake house. And right away, right, if I click to uh, one of the tables, um, actually all of my tables, it says that the data source, the connection type is analysis services database. So this is actually a live connection. And here's one of the things that we still don't have in Microsoft Fabric because uh, this is in the preview mode still, right? So we cannot use the direct lake mode uh, from Power BI Desktop. So if you go to your Power BI Desktop and you connect to your lake house, it will not be a direct lake connection. It will be a live connection, right? So that's why what you will do, you will go back to your lake house 
and then you will select one of the lake houses that you want to use I will be using the demo adventure works and so once I'm here what I need to do is I need to create a new Power BI data set here's a tab right here and this will take me to a screen where I can create a new data set so I can give a name to it so let, let's call it um, test data set one for example and then I can choose the workspace where I want that to be right in I will have a list of all of my tables you have an option to choose either all the tables or certain tables right so let me go ahead and only select two tables for this example sales and product because I am building my own data set from a lake house I will click confirm and I will have to wait a little bit and this is going to take me to a Power BI cloud experience right the modeling view so uh, let me close these tabs out and keep in mind that your changes will be permanent and automatically saved so this is another disadvantage of using Power BI in the cloud I thought because you don't really have a rollback feature meaning that everything you do will be saved right away and hopefully Microsoft will fix this feature because I do not recommend you working with your real you know especially mission critical reports in real life because you can't really do rollback and everything you do will be saved instantly so that's kind of dangerous once I'm here what I can right away notice right is that I have the headers of my tables they look different it's not a solid blue line that I had uh, that I have in Power BI desktop right here you see it's solid blue line and it says analysis services now if I go back here and if I hover over the header it's a dashed blue line and now I can see that it says the connection is direct lake so this is the direct lake connection so after this right I will close this out and then I will click new report and this is going to take me to the report builder experience in the cloud and so this is the Power BI desktop experience in the cloud and these are the tables that I chose to import the connection is direct lake so what I am going to do I will put a, um, a visual in here and I can go ahead and start building my report I think I had a measure in here so I can go ahead and do category and then I can uh, build another visual which is I'm um, going to use for example subcategory I can go ahead and save this and this will be saved in my workspace as a separate report so let's talk about limitations a little bit here direct lake report right must be created in the web experience as we saw you cannot use power bi desktop to connect using direct lake and you know the web version is a little bit limited because you don't have as many options as you do in the desktop version number two is your changes will take place immediately right and you cannot really do a rollback so whatever you do is saved in real life and so again right this can be kind of dangerous when you're working with important reports and number three is in the web version you cannot really create calculated columns and calculated tables and this might be important for some developers right you we want to have uh, an option to create either extra tables or extra columns certainly of course Microsoft fabric is in the preview stage right now and I expect that Microsoft will do something about these limitations by the time the product becomes generally available but that being said the direct lake mode is still I think is a breakthrough in Power BI I have read reports from Microsoft that working in the direct lake mode is just as fast as working in the import mode and Microsoft tested it with billions of rows of data and this is really exciting because obviously you cannot use that much data in the import mode and now with the direct lake mode this is becoming possible in my experience most of the reports they needed refreshes right and you have to be careful to schedule them to avoid interfering with people's work so with Microsoft fabric and direct lake this is now a thing of a past because with the direct lake mode you can have both the strength of import mode and live data all right that's it for today we had an overview of the direct lake mode in Microsoft fabric and why we think it is going to be a big deal thanks for watching and until next time